as its most essential level, there are these um, these federal regulations. Actually, it's required for all government contractors. Um, they're called um, FARS requirements, um, federal acquisition um, requirements. Um, they're they're you know defined um, in the federal rulemaking process. They're required absolutely everywhere. Um, uh, so and no matter what agency you're working with, um, there are requirements for all of that outsourcing. And so if you're a company that's contracting um, for the federal government or you're a company that's supporting that contract as a subcontractor, there's this big list of requirements. Some of them are security requirements. Um, and there's these other other terminologies uh, that you need to be aware of as as a as a um, as a contractor, it's and it's CUI and FCI, and they relate to data categories. So um, I know um, we all think about or or um, have heard of things like top secret, secret, sometimes um, um, compartmentalized information. Um, we're not talking about those types of labels. Those are those are labels that the government uses to um, um, restrict um, information movement inside a federal agency. We're talking about information that's um, it's moved into contractors. Um, it's under control of contractors. Um, it needs to be secured by contractors. Um, so controlled unclassified information um, and federal contract information. So um, federal contract information is, um, you know, just information about the contract. Who's the vendor? Um, maybe uh, what's what's some information relating to, to that that contractor, maybe the location. Um, it it may, might even have things like um, government office locations because you, you have to ship things. There may be something in the contract that says something has to be delivered at a, at a specific site. So that's all going to be in the federal contract. It may name specific agencies. It may name what the goal of the contract is, right? 